People are mourning the loss of award-winning gospel music legend Lee Williams. He was a Mississippi staple with one of a kind voice. Williams lived by the songs he sang. His music legacy is not the only thing people will never forget. He was a wonderful guy, very humble, never met a stranger. He would stay at his concerts just to take pictures until the last person left. That's just who he was, said a fan. Williams loved his fans just as much as they loved him. For decades, he moved crowds with his calm and smooth voice as he sang about trusting in God. He had the connection with everything that he did, didn't move around, wasn't jumping off the stage. But what he said in his songs, he meant it, and you knew he meant it, and it connected with you. A household name in Black America, Williams had little need for the kind of crossover project that can earn a gospel act attention from the secular music media. By the time he made his final Boston appearance in 2014 at Jeremiah Ebach High School, Williams was already showing early signs of the Alzheimer's that would lead to his retirement in 2018. Dr. Lee Williams' death was hardly noticed in the mainstream press, but the black gospel community, radio DJs, fellow artists, and everyday fans rushed to pay their deep respects to a singer who along with his group, the Spiritual QCs, almost single-handedly revived the fortunes of the traditional gospel quartet in the 90s.